Well, we've got a problem. We're not gonna be leaving. We gotta go tell Lane. Does our Jeep still work? Let's go to Florida. The cabin project has taken a little bit longer than what I anticipated. It is now the beginning of July. Blaine and I had made plans for July in Colorado with some friends. And so we're gonna go ahead and hit the road. You guys know Jerry is very capable of doing things without me supervising him. We're only gonna be gone for a month. So whenever we come back, then I will take you guys through the final tour, let you guys see everything that we did, do a tour of the home, do a tour of the water wheel, how it was all finished up. Lane's up there getting the RV ready right now. Our RV adventures are beginning today. I said it's time for Gus to get a bath because he's going to live in the RV for the first time. Yeah. So have we made any changes in the last six months as far as RV life goes? Yeah. Gus is probably the, the biggest change yeah. we've made. Just adding another, another human sized thing. But he's so good. Him's a good boy boy. He is. Oh. Our water's going. Finding fresh water on the road sometimes can be a challenge. So I always go ahead and top it off here before we leave. If you guys haven't followed our adventures in the past, was some of you guys do know, if you have been following us, is that our RV door handle was broken and we were having to climb in through a window on the opposite side of the RV. Well, guess what? Look at that, got it fixed. So I've got a good buddy, uh, Coop Mobile RV Service. He's an RV repair tech. I called him, I said, hey, I'm building this cabin. I don't have time to fix our door handle. Can you please come fix it for me? He ordered the part, he came down, he fixed it for me. He also serviced our generator for me. He also fixed our AC unit because it had a bad computer in it. So he got that going for me. So I had to make some repairs to the RV before we could start off on this new adventure. As expected, there are just little things like that that you will have to do. This is just part of RV living. And when it comes to the inside, nothing's really changed. We made renovations to this RV a year ago. If you have not been following our adventures for very long, when we bought this one year ago, we completely remodeled it, painted it, just did a lot. So if you wanna go back and watch that, that's fine. Uh, this is where our kids sleep. We got a bunk bed uh, for Layla up there. And then the two boys, Grady and Chasen, sleep there. And I've had a lot of questions. Where does Gabriel sleep? Our dinette makes out into a bed. And so this is what we do every night, turn this into a bed, put blankets on there for him to sleep. But before the sun comes up, he always makes it to our bed where Lane and I sleep, which is just a pull out couch. One thing we do really, really need to do is change our mattress in this. It's just the original spring mattress. You can feel the springs now. Me and Lane hate it. I've got to get a memory foam mattress to replace this. And uh, before we leave, we always go through completely redo our basements, clean them out, figure out what we don't need, what we do need, and put what we don't need in storage, and we take off with what we do need. Uh, also, I do wanna say, I've got a mouse trap back in there. While we have been here, and since we have torn down the old red barn that was right there, which is like 30 feet from our RV, I think I trapped 20 something, 20, 20 to 25 mice, a lot in the past six months. So I'm kind of excited to leave this spot. And nothing has changed with our toad. This is our Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Recon Edition. This is what we get around in for our family of six. I added a third row that if you want to see the install video on that, you will find the link down below. But this is what we tow behind our RV. This allows us to truly adventure while we are in locations like where we're getting ready to go to next, which is in Colorado. I was wanting to film you giving him a bath. Oh, I missed it. That's okay. He's, Did he's, you get a bad? Yeah. Huh? Oh, he did so good. Good boy. You smell good. good. You smell like coconut. Yeah. Yep. Oh, he's a good boy. Yeah. He's a good boy. Yeah. Get this. Get this. Get this. This is mine. Stop it.
when you've been stationary as long as we have for like six months, one of the things that's kind of been on my mind today is can I remember everything that I need to do before we leave out on the road? And so having a checklist for yourself is very, very important. Now what's great about my RV is that here on my screen, it gives me a checklist. So I can go through and check off the things that I need to do, like making sure the jacks air up, check my tow vehicle, check tire pressure. And as I go through and check each one of those off, it'll give me more things to check. And so I highly suggest, if you don't, make sure you have yourself a checklist. Because when you don't, that's when mistakes can happen. Pawpaw's taking the kids for one last four wheeler ride. Good boy. You be a good boy and I'll get you another treat, okay? That old thing hasn't been fired up in probably six months. I fired right up, didn't it? But it sounds okay. good to have it fired up, don't it? Let's go. We're so ready to We're the road. so stinking ready. It's been a good season, but it's it's time to go. We are made for the road. Yep. Gus, you know what you're in for, bud? No idea. He has no idea. This is going to be a new experience for old Gussie boy. Oh, buddy, nope, be nope. Careful. Stay, 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 stay. He's really good. He's smart. We should have got a dog that didn't shed, but we didn't. We, we never love do Goldens. things the easy way. But they say they're the nicest dog in the whole world, yeah. and that matters the yeah. most to Them's mom. a good boy. Yes, you miss. I know. I know. Had to charge my house batteries. Been sitting for six months. They were dead. Now some people put a trickle charger on those. I didn't have one. I knew they were gonna drain, they were gonna go dead. So we had this battery charger. And so I put that on there last night, made sure they were fully charged today. Well, we've got a problem. I was hearing a big hissing sound coming up from underneath the coach. And I noticed that my rig wasn't lifting up. So, right back here, right there. You can see that hole right there. I got a lot of air blowing through that. So it's not raising up my airbag. So, we're not going to be leaving. I got to go tell Lane. So I got some bad news. What? The airbags are not lifting up. I can hear this large hissing sound. So what does that mean? I'm going to call Coop and see if he can come down. Does our Jeep still work? <laughs> yeah, our Jeep still works. But the RV I've got, don't. I've got really cute t-shirts that say vacay, matching shirts for the kids. Let's go to Florida. Yeah. You not, wanted to tell me on camera, so yeah, I'm telling you on camera okay. this fantastic idea. Sure. So now, so now, you get to respond. Okay, my response is I'm gonna call the man and see if he can fix it, and then we'll decide and how long it's gonna take. Okay? Does that sound good? I don't know yet. <laughs> to be continued. So the rear, it lifted up, but you can tell the front is not lifting up. Okay, I think I've got some good news for Lane. So right, right here is where it was leaking, and there's like a rubber sleeve right here on top of this piece, and I noticed that the hole was actually in the metal and so I thought, well, that's supposed to be there, but this rubber sleeve here, this black piece, is uh, has slidden down and was allowing those holes to be exposed and allowing all the air out. So once I slid this back up, I just kind of pushed it and pulled it back up. Then it started filling the airbags. So if anybody knows if it's supposed to do that, let me know in the comments, but I'll find out and see. I don't know if you could hear me underneath there, but I think I got it fixed. Are you serious? I just found it as a condo in Clearwater Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I was already preparing my speech. Uh, it's 240 a night. I've got the shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real? Yeah, I think I got it fixed. Uh, hallelujah. RV life and they'll give you wrinkles. <laughs> I'll tell you. <ya. laughs> okay. All right. Oh, good, good. Let's go. Okay, so we got full slides in. Okay. Ah! I got to look jacks. Flies things. in and forever. It has been a while. Okay. Uh. All right, bring her in. Wait. Oh, what? Scare me to death. There is a bag there. Hold on. <laughs> <gasps> 
I was just doing that to scare you, but I'm glad I did it because you noticed that bag. Oh, this just feels so good. Now that the slides are in, I can store the jacks. So I've got one jack that is not wanting to come up. Let's see if I can fix it. Well, I never could get the jack to come up, so I've got me a block and an old fence post. And I'm pulling it up that way. I don't know why, it may have just been not used in a while and just a little, a little stuck. They say not to spray them with WD-40, but I don't know if I should. It's about there. Okay, now give everything a final inspection, do a walk around. Now it's time to back this bad boy up and get the Jeep hooked. I've got the drone, getting ready to fly in the air. He thinks, he thinks I'm gonna stop down there and pick him up. I'm gonna be in here. What? I'm gonna be in here while we're oh, flying. Oh, I thought you were gonna be outside and no. I was gonna pick you up on the road. No. Okay, well, that's good. As we you. fly down the road, I'm gonna be in here and then we're gonna stop down oh, the road so and then cool. I'll pick it up. Okay, that's when I'll ditch you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, can I crank it? Not yet. Bye. 